Hello guys, who here, back to another video. This time around we are talking about PTS testing, but it's not a new update already. We just, you know, uh, finished uh, the update on uh, Switch. So now Switch is also updated completely uh, with PC, Xbox and PlayStation. So everything is on par. No, this is testing. And I think this is a great time to actually be doing this. I hope they will do this. Uh, we have done it in the past. I hope they will do it after every single big patch so they can kind of uh, focus on that for a little bit after they kind of are done with a phase of updating, uh, you know, both uh, the consoles or every platform basically. And then we can do a little bit of testing about the data and stuff like that. It's only for this weekend on from the 4th today as the video coming out and then until the uh, 7th as well. So it's going to be up for the weekend. I wish they would kind of give us a week's notice kind of in a way, but... It's up now, so you should definitely, if you have a chance, to go down and check some stuff. I love that they kind of tell you down here uh, which stuff they want us to be testing. Uh, but yes, go on to the PTS server, do some testing. Uh, just by testing, they mean of just running around doing daily stuff, whatever. And hopefully that can be a step into the right direction about fixing some different uh, stuff with the game. I love that they're doing this and I hope they're going to do it way more in the future as well. You know, every single, like if we have big update, they can kind of go back, kind of look at all the different things and kind of mimic all these things, uh, you know, that maybe uh, causes the game to have some rubber banding, lag, whatever it might be. Uh, also, maybe smaller things that create other things, whatever. They, they say what we are supposed to be testing down here, but I would just love to have this uh, be something after every single big update when every uh, platform is completely updated. Just take a little bit of time to uh, gather some uh, information. Uh, and I've said that on the, I think I, I said it on the Discord, on the Trove Discord, the, the official one that I love the that we have to, or we can go and test this stuff out and improve Trove in that way as well. Not only having updates to test and stuff like that, but also like basic things could do some stuff with that, I hope. So yeah, basically that's what the whole thing is. Uh, let's just really run quickly past what all of these things is. They do want to do some general testing, try out various in-game activities, see if anything behaves as expected. Also really a lot about loading times because there's loading times, just general loading times, uh, especially in, in larger worlds. Uh, I don't know what a larger world is, but I assume that's just like where most people are, I guess. Also, they wanted to test club worlds, but that is also how the loading times is. Any hiccups? Um, of course, this is not something you have to report on. It's just something that happens, you know, and they're going to, you know, see the data as it goes. And then they also want us to test some market uh, marketing, <laughs> some marketplace, uh, confirm that the marketplace operates as expected when we made some improvements to searching. So I really hope with this they improved to searching. I hope they made some improvements to the way you search for things because when you search for things on the marketplace, and I really hope that they were going to fix this, is that when you put, you know, you place the mark uh, or the little check mark in stuff you haven't learned uh, and you go into a category where uh, you, you actually know you have stuff in there that you haven't learned, but there's so many stuff things in there you haven't learned. So it's just going to search, say there is no uh, items in there. I hope that they improved that because, uh, you know, when I search for allies, for example, I don't have, there's a lot of allies in the game and I have, don't have a lot of them because they don't give a lot of mastery and they're typically some of them, oh, the ones that I have left is very expensive. So paying like 6 million for 10 mastery points is not really something I'm super interested in doing. Like I would rather save that, that flux, you know, um, maybe you, you could say that, hey, you should have those 10 master points instead, but I, I, I'd just rather have that instead of 10 master points. I, I don't, I don't think, I think there's are way overpriced. They might not be overpriced in certain, like how rare they are and stuff like that. I, I have no opinion on that, but the point is, I feel like it's a lot of flux for very little gain, but the point is I would still love to see which ones I'm missing and I can search for specific ones. Uh, I have done so. I have gone in and seen which ones. Uh, I and then I bought a few of them uh, that was not as expensive as I uh, thought they were gonna be. So I bought those. 
uh, but I had to manually go in and search for them in the in the ally thing. So I hope that they change this so you can just search for that and then it shows up everything there is that. And then they want, they want to have a blast, you know, explore, build, fight, enjoy the game. And it's all the glory. So that's again, just general testing in my opinion. As you can see right here, from the 4th of August to the 7th of August, we do have this testing here. And then they say, what is in for you? And they're gonna give you in the live, uh, you know, the live game, they are going to give us a, uh, you know, a one dev dream. I have also said on the Discord, I think this is, a, this is amazing that we're getting a reward for it, but, uh, and it's only like, you don't have to do anything other than just go on the PTS server and then you get the uh, dev dream, I would assume. It doesn't really say anything other than you have to be playing for, you know, um, uh, it does say every player who, who participates in the test, so it should be instantly. Uh, but the point is, a dev dream, yes, it's we I love the dev dreams, uh, don't get me wrong, but I feel like still it's a little bit of a lower reward. I think it should be a little bit more. Uh, I did mention that in, uh, in a previous video, in like for ideas for 2023, that we should get for the test server, and not only for this, but for test server in general, I think we should be rewarded for the time we spend playing. And uh, maybe there, you could say, well, you can just stay there AFK and if it has to be online for an hour, people are just gonna stand there AFK for an hour. Sure, I get that, but then you also have to be AFK for an hour. And then, you know, who's gonna, you can't really abuse your, maybe your, your PC for, for that amount of time, whatever, but they could also do it something else that you have to defeat uh, 5,000 enemies, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, in, yeah, 5,000 enemies, right? 5,000 enemies. Um, and then you get like some, some flux in the live servers or whatever it could be. Like there could be different challenges. So you actually do play the, you have to pl actually play the, uh, and there's also probably going to be methods that people are going to find where they're going to, you know, cheat that as well, of course. But the point is, um, I wish there was other rewards for that because then there would be more people testing and the, you know, the updates would be better and so on, so on, so on. So yeah, and then down down here, it says how you are going to, uh, you know, get onto PTS server if you haven't already uh, done so as well. So yeah, this is linked in the description if you want to go check this stuff here out. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it for the video. I just wanted to mention this. I did have a little bit of input to the different things, but I love that this is uh, something we got to get to do. So I hope you are also going to jump on the PTS server and jump around, uh, do uh, different things, you know, uh, just do your daily whatever. I know you're probably also busy in the main game, but at least log on to the PTS server if you can. Uh, it, again, it's all descriptive uh, down here how you are going to do so. But yeah, this is link is also, like I said, in the description and that's it. I think I've mentioned everything twice now, so I think you got it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.